Hey hello and welcome guys, welcome to my channel Omega Electronics. In this video, I've made a Wi-Fi USB rubber ducky with Arduino Uno and Node MCU. Basically guys, this device takes instruction from a website which is hosted on Node MCU in a local area network. So in order to use this device, you have to be in the same network. So this device is capable of executing all the HID attacks like uh, deploying a payload in a system or connecting a device or a victim computer to a metro petrol station or downloading malicious software so basically you can use this uh, device illegally or legally but guys this video is only for educational purposes so uh, in, in this video here you can see that I am connecting my device to the same network I have uh, turned on the hotspot through which this node MC will connect to my network then I will write the IP address whom, uh, which I have to enter and uh, whom the website is been hosted so this is the IP address in which uh, the website is been hosted by the node MC so here you can see a basic HTML website uh, that I have made is, uh, displaying that uh, it is a Wi-Fi USB rubber ducky and my mode so you can see here it is many buttons like inject payload change the color of CMD open CMD windows shut down the system make or delete unlimited directory or abort so first of all and uh, I am pressing this button that is change color of CMD so after receiving this instruction Arduino will behave like HID keyboard and like this it will type some CMD command and then it will change the color basically you can write more lines of uh, codes uh, in the Arduino program so that it will perform various tasks so if I press abort button then exit line is been typed on the command prompt and it will close like this so after that and then I will show you how to open multiple CMD window from this device so when I press this button a request is generated with uh, this device and sent to node MCU then node MCU communicates serially with this Arduino and then Arduino receives this uh, instruction and according to it it will execute some lines of code so then I will tell you how you can make or delete a limited directory with this device So here you can see in my desktop uh, here is uh, some uh, some folders or some files but now when i will execute this uh, button okay so when i press this button a code is been executed by the arduino that will make uh, approximately 10 uh, folders so it will it, uh, it is executing the commands so it uh, it have made 10 folders you can basically make unlimited folder according to your convenience you can code so here you can see some uh, folders some random folders are made by the down this computer and hey your computer has been shut down basically you can perform many types of HID attacks from this device so please use this device in your own risk So hey guys now here I will give you a brief explanation that how the programs are working or how this HID keyboard is working so basically guys you have uh, uh, two programs the first program is uh, will be uploaded in the node MCU and the second program uh, will be in the Arduino Uno 
so in the program of uh, node mcu so we will look the program of node mcu first so first uh, we will need two header file or two libraries that is uh, esp8266 wifi.h so in order to use our in order to use wifi related uh, things of node mcu we will include we have to include this library or header file okay then after that here another header file as software serial.h as we don't want to use our txn a native txn rx pin of the node mcu board to communicate uh, for serial communication we want the d1 and d2 pin to for serial communication so that's why we have used in here a serial software serial library then software serial then my serial so this this is uh, we are making as object so it will take two arguments as d1 and d2 so guys this is the first one is the pin which we want to assign as rx and the second one as tx okay so here the d1 pin is rx and the d2 pin is tx then after that here i have made a constant char as ssid so this ssid will store as oppo and then this constant char password will be the password of that ssid that is one two three four five six seven nine ten so if you want to connect your node mc to an open network then you have to place here empty string or you can uh, if you have password then you can write the password here then wi-fi dot server then 80 so guys this 80 is the port number in which our server which is running on node mc will listen okay so then in the void setup i started the serial communication between my uh, this is the serial communication between my computer and the node mcu which is one like fifteen thousand two hundred. this is the speed through which the data will communicate but here my serial dot begin that is one like fifteen thousand two hundred. so this it will begin the serial communication between the node mcu and the arduino board okay it is software serial uh, it is that we have defined earlier that variable sorry that object that my serial so it, it will start the serial communication between the arduino and the node mcu then it will print in serial monitor of node mcu that it is connecting to the ssid then it will print wi-fi dot mode st uh, wi-fi sta that is it will print uh, the uh, station uh, that will uh, we will take our node mcu in a station mode so we have to this uh, just give this argument and after that here wi-fi dot begin ssid so this begin command will start uh, will connect our node mcu to the network so it will take two parameters the first is the ssid name whom we our we want to connect and the password then while a loop is here that while uh, wi-fi dot status is not equal to wl underscore connected that means guys uh, this wl underscore connected so because um, you know i will tell you that this dot status uh, this function basically returns uh, many tasks that is wn is called connected or it is trying to connect or it is in ideal position like that so if this status is not well connected means the node mc is not well connected then it will come inside this while loop and it will delay of 500 milliseconds then it will print dot 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 in serial monitor so if it will connect to the if it will connect to the network then this statement will become false and it will just uh, ignore this while loop and move further then after that here serial dot print here empty then node mc is connected to wi-fi then it will print ip address from this dot local ip from this function i will get the local ip address of the node mcu then after that here is server dot begin so here we are uh, just uh, initializing or you can say we are starting the server we have initialized this further as here you can see server is 480 so here we have initialized now we want to begin the server then a delay of 300 millisecond then after that in the void loop as wi-fi client and client so here we are we have made a client which will uh, listen to the requests then client equals server dot available so if client is in the network that means if anyone comes to the network 
if any request is generated on the network then it will go inside this control if statement that it will make a string request equals client dot read string until then slash and which uh, which is end of line so it will read all the strings uh, till end okay. then client dot flush function then after that here is control another control statement as if request dot index of inject is not equal to minus one that means it is equal to, uh, if it is equal to minus one then it, it will go inside this loop that basically guys if the request has this inject word then this statement will come true and it will write in the serial port in the my software serial it means in the software serial of arduino as a so it will print or it will write the word the letter a to the arduino board so basically like that here is if its request is color if the word color is in the string request then it will write b to arduino basically like this all like our control statement is like this so i will skip it then i will tell you that here my client dot print these are the main html document which are in the web uh, site so basically here i as this is the name of uh, this here is the title and here is the heading one and this here is a paragraph and here is the list and here are the buttons so basically these buttons are hyperlinked as the that color or so basically if you press this button so with a request this shirt color these words are attached and these words are tested with these dot index of so when it will true then it will uh, write something on this my serial port that is software serial then here is basically basically the normal uh, html document so basically if you want to print of uh, if you want to add a html document to the node mcu then you have to write client dot print ln then inside that uh, the html commands so here is the command of a node mcu completed so let's see the command of Arduino. So in the command of Arduino, at first I had made a string as msg. So this msg will store all the string values. Then a data type as unit uh, unit 8t. So basically, guys, this data type will store the data up to 8 bit of uh, oh, battery. A array of buff which will store 8 values. So in which all the elements are set to zero. So guys, buff is an array which will store unit eight t data type values, and it will store it can store eight values, and its all elements are set to zero. So after that, here a function as void release key. So basically, if you press a button, then you have to release the button too. So basically, it will add a buff. It will add this array at buff array at index 0 in uh, 0 and index 2 0 then it will write in the serial that array then comma 8 so basically it will send a release key then after that I have uh, included the software serial then make the object and that will take two argument here I have made 6 as rx pin and 7 as trx pin so the connection will be inverse the rx pin of this arduino will go to the tx pin so that means guys that the six number pin will connect to the the six number pin will connect to to the d2 of this node mc so and the d1 pin is connected to the seven number pin of arduino so then here is a function as void uh, op open cmd here is the function so basically it will add uh, 227 to index number uh, 2 now, index number 2 so basically this is I will show you so here you can see I have this key code of the values so here you can see add win button 
that is the windows button so in order to press that windows button here you can see as win has value 227 so we have to add 227 so according to add uh, that you have to use that then you have to write this buff comma 8 to the serial and then you have to call the release key every time the release key function every time so this is the basic so you have to write like i will give you example f if you have to write this c letter then you write in uh, buff index 2 equals 6 so what is this 6 guys this is 6 6 6 here you can see c has value 6 uh, number 6 so here I write 6 then I have to release that button then release the button so according to it uh, I have done that okay so here it's uh, 300 to 400 line of codes then in the void setup I started the serial communication and in the void setup I started the my serial communication that will be communication between Arduino and the node MC then in the void loop that my serial dot available is greater than zero that means if uh, if the node mcu is ready to communicate between the arduino then it will this statement uh, will true and true means one that is greater than zero so it will get inside this control statement as variable msg which we have declared earlier which will store the string values uh, will come down here okay it will read the string until slash and this slash in is the end of line so it will read all the string till end of line then delay of 100 millisecond then if this message is a then it will don't do anything as as because guys we haven't apply any task that is in the a here you can see a as inject so first one is in that so in the program we are not going to inject any payload in the system so here i have kept it empty and if index equals b then a cmd color function will be called which will change the color of the cmd then else if equals d and basically it's a different control statement so here i have give you a brief explanation of the programs and use it as a hid or human interface device now here i have connected my arduino to my computer and i am selecting the port number at which my arduino is connected after that i will upload this arduino program into the board here the program uploaded so here you can see in the com port section here it's showing com 17 and I am going to device manager and in the comp and com port section here it's showing a serial devices comp 17 for changing the firmware you have to install atmail flip dfu the link is given in the description you can download the installer after installing the software we have to select the IC button it will ask for the your IC model number for Arduino Uno it is 16u2 after that we need to short these two pins after shorting the pin you have to connect the ic with the computer so click on this usb button then go to usb then hit open and now your ic is connected to the computer now you can change the firmware in it so now we will have to load the hex file so go to load hex file then here it's the hex files the arduino keyboards as we want to convert our arduino as a keyboard so i will choose arduino keyboard now i will press run then after that start application then after start application you have to remove your arduino then uh, replug it now it is behaving like a hid keyboard so now I am going to this device manager and here in the keyboard section here you can see a HID keyboard device is attached that is none other than the Arduino.